In this video, we'll be using the chain rule as u substitution. Our directions are to find the derivative of each of the following. And our first one is f of x equals 5x minus 2x squared quantity raised to the fourth power. Now for u substitution, we'll let u be this inside function. So 5x minus 2x squared. And then du dx, since our expression is in x, the derivative of u is 5 minus 4x. Now we want to rewrite our function only with our u substituted in there. So we have um, f we can write as y. So y equals u, because this inside part is u, so u to the fourth power. Then dy, with respect to u, is 4u to the third power. Now the chain rule says that dy dx is equal to dy du multiplied by du dx. So dy du is 4u cubed. multiplied by, and then du dx is 5 minus 4x. Now we need to sub back in, in place of u, we need to put in our 5x minus 2x squared. So that gives us dy dx is equal to 4 times 5x minus 2x squared raised to the third power times 5 minus 4x. Do another one. In this one, we need to rewrite our function so that this radical is rewritten as a, an expression with a fractional exponent. So let's uh, rewrite first. Yeah. Our rewrite gives us f of x equals x squared minus 1 raised to the 2 over 3 power. Remember that the exponent of the radicand is the numerator of the fractional exponent, and the index of the radical is the denominator of the fractional exponent. Now, u is this inside part, so x squared minus 1. The derivative of u with respect to x is 2x. And then now we can rewrite f of x as y. And it would be u raised to the 2 thirds. So then the derivative of this one, dy, with respect to u, is 2 thirds times u to the, and then 2 thirds minus 1 is a negative 1 third. So dy dx, by the chain rule, is dy du times du dx dy du is 2 thirds u to the negative 1 third. third. And then du dx is 2x. Now we need to sub back in in place of u. We need to put in our x squared minus 1. raised to the negative one-third power, and then times 2x. This simplifies to uh, 
Um, 2x times 2 thirds would be 4 thirds. And then we need an x. And this is in this factor, if we put it down in the denominator, would be a cube root of x squared minus 1 in the denominator. And one more. Let's rewrite this radical with a fractional exponent. This would be raised to the one-half power, since it's a square root. Now notice that we have a product here. x squared is being multiplied by this quantity raised to the one-half power. So we need to use the product rule. When we differentiate, is equal to 1 minus x squared. And we also uh, need an expression for x squared, since that's part of our function. So I can subtract 1 from both signs. So u minus 1 equals a negative x squared. And then x squared will be a positive 1 minus u. So 1 minus u. So now I have... Uh, something to sub in for x squared right here, and then I have something um, for my u. But du with respect to x is going to be a negative 2x. So let's uh, write this with our u's in there. We have y is equal to and in place of x squared, we're going to write 1 plus u. No, 1 minus u. And then we have multiplied by u to the 1 half. Now I could use the product rule to do the derivative on this, but I think I'm going to just distribute. So I'm still writing y. Um, 1 times u to the 1 half is u to the 1 half minus, and then u times u to the 1 half is u to the 3 halves. Now this is easier to find the derivative. So the derivative of y with respect to u is 1 half u to the negative one-half minus three-halves u to the one-half. Let's do some simplifying on this. We have dy du equals, uh, this is going to go in the denominator, so I have one over two times the square root of u minus and then on this one, I have 3u to the 1 half over 2. So let's multiply top and bottom by that square root of u. This is actually square root of u here to get a common denominator. So dy du is 2 radical u in the bottom, and then 1 minus, this is square root of u, times the square root of u is just u. Now dy dx is equal to dy du times du dx. So dy dx is equal to, and dy du is this factor, 1 minus 3u over 2 square root of u. 
and then du dx is negative 2x. I can cancel my 2's here. And let's uh, back in in place of u. So dy dx is equal to 1 minus 3 times 1 minus x squared over square root of 1 minus x squared. And that's multiplied by a negative x. So I can distribute in the numerator one minus three plus three x squared and that's multiplied by a negative x and then I have this denominator one minus x squared into the radical so we have a final derivative of This is negative 2 times a negative x is 2x. And then 3x squared times a negative x will be a negative 3x cubed all over this radical.